All right, guys, this is John again. I have here a 33E. What I'm going to show you today is how to reset the combo on this lock. These locks normally come from the factory with a combination set one, two, three, four, five, six. Although right now this lock's combo is set to five, 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 five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two beeps and the lock opens. You see here on the back side, the bolt retracts and comes in and out. What I'm going to show you today is how to reset the combo on this lock if you do not know the correct combination. So, right now we do know the correct combination. It's six fives. So let's change the combination. So first off, this is a 33E. In order to change the combination on a 33E, you do six zeros, old combo, new combo, new combo. And then you have to do it one more time to test the lock. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. I'm gonna enter the old combo, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna enter a new combo. We're gonna do nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And then we're gonna enter the new combo again. We're gonna confirm it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. With two more, we got two beeps that knows, we know it took the combination, but we can't retract the bolt yet. We want to test it. So we're going to do nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And now it's going to let us retract the bolt. These locks actually come, you can get them in many different front dials. It is a guard lock. You see the LG symbol here, maybe. This is a 33E version 2.13. I know they've had some older versions. These locks are actually obsolete now. Um, they quit making them about five or six years ago and they replaced them with a, a 3090. Unfortunately, that, that's a huge disappointment because these locks, I liked them a lot more. They, they had a relatively high fail rate. Um, in the very end, they changed the way the solenoid worked to lock the lock. Um, and right after they changed the solenoid, they quit making the the lock soon after that. So going back to what we're talking about, we're going to talk about how to reset the combination for this lock if you do not know the current combination. So um, you actually have to take the back cover off and you short uh, a part of the board out and then you enter six fives and then the lock will be uh, I guess it's about 20 times and you can hear the solenoid firing on and off a couple times and uh, that's how you know it took it took so let's get to it I'm gonna try to make this video a little shorter than my last one I said the last one was gonna be short and it turned out it was like 19 minutes long so I apparently rumble on a lot so in order to do this, you do need the back cover off. The 39E, which is the lock that replaced this, has a reset box. This one did not. Um, I do know they make a programming box for this. I've never seen one. I know that this lock has features um, such as dual control and time delayed opening. But unless you have that programming box, which like I said, I've never seen one before. Um, you can't change any of those features. Um, and with the 39E, I think that's one of the reasons why they rolled to it. 
is because you can actually enable those features just through programming. It's kind of one of the reasons why I don't like the 39E. The 39E, uh, I haven't ever really messed with them enough to know how to program them. And uh, the manual on them is like 10 pages long. So I usually hate messing with them. They make a reset box, which I actually have one for the 39E. But these 33Es, they, they never came with any reset box. You might be able to use that programmer for to reset these. Like I said, I've never seen one, so I couldn't tell you if it would work or not. Let's zoom in here, right here on this circuit board. So in order to reset this lock, there are all these little holes all around the circuit board. They're usually little test points where you can stick a, a multimeter in there and check for voltage. Of course, on a board this small, you would never do anything like that. I don't really know why they have all those little holes there, but the ones we want to pay attention to are these, this one here, and then we're going to pay attention to that one there. Those two are a little bigger than the rest. Now these are tiny holes, and a paper clip is usually too big. That's what everybody tries at first. And then everybody ever stops and goes to a bent up staple. Now, if you do some Googling online, they'll tell you to unplug the dial and unplug the battery and then plug it in and then within like five seconds of plugging them back in, you're supposed to punch the six fives in the front of the keypad to reset them. I found out that all of that's unnecessary. There might have been a real early version of the board that you had to do that. But all I do is I have to work the paper clip into those two holes and I just let it sit there. And I leave it sitting there until I'm done with the operation. So I don't think I can do this and let you guys watch. I'll just show you. See how I've got the paper clip stuck into those two holes? right there now of course i've taken the screws out so we're gonna have to hold this dial as i flip it back over and sorry everything's upside down we're gonna do one two three four five six and then it's gonna beep a bunch and you hear the relay fire a couple times so now we're gonna flip it back over and one of the things I was once told on an old lock like this, a little different lock, that when you stick something in to reset the combination, this one had a real fancy change key, you just don't jerk it out because you can jerk the leads out. So be careful when you move your paper clip, you don't want to damage the board any, or excuse me, stable. Now let's put the back cover back on. I think we can zoom out a little bit. Go back to where we're normally looking at. Two little screws here. So these locks do come from the factory with the combination set one, two, three, four, five, six. But for some reason, when you reset them and you do the six fives, it actually changes the combination to six fives. So our new combination is actually going to be, remember we had it set to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Now that we reset it, it's going to be one five, two fives, three fives, four fives, five fives, and six. Two beeps, and it unlocks. We can do that again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Two beeps, and unlocks. Now we can reset that. Let's reset it back to the factory combination. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
So remember at the beginning we do six zeros, our old combo, and our new combo, and then our new combo again to confirm it, and it's changed. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we've confirmed it, it won't unlock. So we gotta do it one more time to test it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And like I said, this is, this is, you can get many different fronts for this lock. Just because I have this dial here doesn't mean that your 33E might look a little different. This is generally considered a bank um, type of lock. I'm not really sure if any gun safe manufacturers made these. Um, they also have a different type of lock. Some of them have is a little swing bolt. You'll see they're kind of angled at like a, a 45 degree angle and kind of round and usually your handle reaches over and swings the bolt in because the, the front dial doesn't turn. So that you, when you turn the handle to your safe or whatever, it pushes the bolt in. But uh, spring bolt, bolt or swing bolt is kind of what those are called. This is just a dead bolt type where you turn the dial and the entire time the dial is turned to the right. The lock remains unlocked. So if you leave that sitting there just like that, it'll be unlocked for ever until you turn it back. But that's kind of a 33E, how to change an unknown combination. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.